What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your, your boys Wokey and we were looking at another Funko video because Funkos just keep coming and I'm gonna give all the information for you guys because this Funko Pop is by itself but if you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh! like these three guys that I talked about not too much longer ago that just recently came out with the characters of Pegasus and Yami Yugi we're gonna be taking a look at these bad boys or not these bad boys but we're gonna be taking a look at um, Yami Merrick or aka uh, Merrick Ishtar from the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! so guys sit back and let's take a look If you guys are new to this Wookiee channel, make sure you guys are subscribed down below by hitting this red bar icon down here and then turn on notifications by with that little bell because when I do post videos like this one, you'll get that little ring notification that's the Wookiee's posted video and then you guys can like, comment, share, and of course subscribe um, because this channel is booming and I can't thank you guys enough for the subscriptions that are coming in. You guys are killing it. We're just gradually getting there, but I can't thank you guys enough and I can't do it if it's not for you guys. So please consider subscribing and let's move on to what we're wanting to talk about, which is is Yami Merrick, which is the pretty much the evil version of Merrick Ishtar. If you guys don't know who Merrick Ishtar is, this is who technically Merrick is of his evil version. I'm not going to go too much into depth of his origins and stuff like that. But pretty much in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys have pretty much cards like these ones. And you pretty much duel to pretty much end or battle each other until somebody ends up with zero life points or ends the game. Um, not to go much too much more into the game, um, but Merrick Ishtar holds the Millennium Rod where Yu-Gi-Oh, or not Yu-Gi-Oh, Yugi holds the Millennium Puzzle. Um, there are seven different items. I'm not going to get into all of them. There's like a necklace that the eye that Pegasus has. Um, there's a, uh, uh, the ring um, and a whole bunch more. I'm not going to get too much into it. We'll, ta we'll talk about that in a different video because they do have a... Or a case that has all the millennium pieces in it and i'd like to get that in the future but moving on he has the millennium rod obviously you guys can see in his hands and all he wants to do is pretty much banish everybody to the shadow shadow realm um he's not the only one there's bakura and stuff like that that would like to deal with stuff with when it comes to the shadow realm and stuff like that but he is pretty much the owner and the user of the winged dragon of raw in the beginning um so pretty much that's what we know him as. Um, not to go more in depth on that, but we're still waiting. We have not gotten the information of when the Winged Dragon of Ra will come out. We obviously have Slife for the Sky Dragon, which Yugi has, Obelisk the Tormentor that Kaiba uses, and then obviously Exodia the Forbidden One, a different, I wouldn't say God, but one of the stronger cards that was from before. I'll link the video down below of these guys that just came out not too long ago, but we're not going to talk about it. I just wanted to put these in the video because. To showcase and obviously this is about Yu-Gi-Oh! But we're here for Yami Merrick. Like I just showed you, but we're gonna take a look at him in Funko form. So Funko form is what is looks like this. This is in box, obviously, right off the bat. It is a Toy Temple exclusive. So if you guys don't know who that is or what website it is, I will post the video or link down below where you guys can pre-order this bet this bad boy. Um, because you if you guys are a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan a lot of these god cards right here but these god ones went fast and they were hardy i couldn't get this one for a while and then i finally was able to get it but it was it was going to be a hot topic exclusive then they got rid of it then it was going to be in gamestop then it went away because of the whole covid and then i finally got one on ebay for some reason these god ones went fast not saying that yami merrick is going to go fast but i guarantee with him being exclusive to toy temple it's going to go fast, so make sure you guys get your pre-orders in there. And usually pre-orders range between 12 and 15 This one's $19.99, so make sure I'll post the link down below, or below, not below, below for you guys to pre-order one yourself, because I'm going to do it right after this video. So, again, this is what it looks like. I'm super excited. One, because it's not just Merrick, or Merrick himself. I'm going to say Merrick, because I don't like saying Yami Merrick. I like saying Merrick, because that's what he went by in um, Battle, Battle City Tournament. Um, but I like that he's got the dual disc on him. Um, I'm kind of sad that the the Yami or the Yu-Gi-Oh one, or the Yugi, does not have his dual disc. He's got the cards in his hands, but he doesn't have the dual disc. I like the dual disc. It looks cool. I'm hoping they make more characters when it comes to Mai, which holds the, the Harpy Ladies um, 
uh, we have Weevil, which is the insect guy. We have King Rex that holds the, the dinosaurs. We have um, Bakura. Bakura loves his zombies and fiends and stuff like that. If you guys don't know what I'm saying, you might want to look into Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it's a super awesome anime show and movies that they, that they come out with. But there's tons of characters. There's tons of things that they could go with Yu-Gi-Oh! They'd make a whole bunch of Pokemon but they need to do Yu-Gi-Oh more and obviously we still haven't got any Wing Dragon of Raw because I keep saying Wing Dragon of Raw is going to come in a 10 inch because he's huge he's massive and he's the, the like the one of the strongest or he is the strongest god card but not going to depth with that if we see him out of box though I pull it up here this is what he looks like his crazy hair for one I love the colors they didn't make it completely like bright but they made it he he looks like Merrick from the TV show and if you guys want, know what I'm talking about this character looks super awesome I love that he's got the dual disc he's got his three cards he, or the, the cards in his hands he's he's it looks like he just ripped him out of the dual dual arena and that he's dueling either um Kaiba or he's dueling uh Maya because I think he duels yeah he duels Maya and then he duels Yugi and then he's got this Millennium or, or his rod in his hand. Super excited about this. I know we're talking about in depth about this character, but this character was one of his backstories that I really enjoyed with the Pharaoh and and back in the Egyptian times and sort of like that. Um, because obviously these rods are thousands of years old and they go back into Egyptian time, but it's just kind of cool of their origins and stories. Plus, I really like this character, so I'm hoping, like I said, they come out with Bakura and more of. Um, evil and good guys because there's so much and they could make they could make a lot of money on these Yu-Gi-Oh characters when it comes to Funko Pop. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to take these down here for you. Take that one down and where's the other one? This one. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this for you guys that love Yu-Gi-Oh, this is another one off that you guys did not know about and you guys wanted to add to, to your collection because I think there's 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Funko Pops right now. Plus, they could make even more monsters. I still think they should make like Time Wizard, Baby Dragon. There's a whole. I, that, that's just Karibo. I mean, there's they're just on the tip of the iceberg when it comes to uh, Funko with Yu-Gi-Oh, and they could make so much money and so many Funko Pops, and they look amazing. So hopefully, guys, we see more in the future, plus that Winged Dragon and Raw, because you can't just have two God cards and not have the other one. So with that being said, let me know in the comments if you guys are excited about this one. If you guys got these ones as well, these guys are six inches. Let me know if you guys got these as well, if you guys are hoping for more in the future. Let me know in the comments which one of the monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh would you want to see. Relinquish. Um, Toon monsters. I mean, the, the sky's the limit. Let me know down in the comments. It takes two seconds of your time, and I love reading your guys' comments. So, again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a safe day, and we'll see you guys in the next, or next video. So, keep it real. Keep it safe. And we'll see you guys next time. And, as always, keep nerding on. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.